forecast. Good morning. Waking up to a quiet start to the day after some overnight showers. And we do have the possibility of perhaps a few isolated thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon time frame. Although that looks to be more and more isolated in nature, the greatest chance for that would likely be east of I-69 going into Northwest Ohio and the Storm Prediction Center generally highlighting the Buckeye State. I think that's where we really start to get our act together with these storms a little bit more. They likely start to organize in southern Michigan and northern Indiana, but start to gain strength as they go closer to the Toledo and even Cleveland metro areas. Specifically in Cleveland today, that's where they have the better possibility of perhaps a tornado or two. But here at home, I think that the storm risk, again, as I've mentioned, is going to be pretty hit or miss for many of us. Northwest Ohio having the better chance to perhaps see additional showers compared to what we've seen from the overnight hours. It's all thanks to this low pressure system. It's the same one that brought severe weather for parts of Kansas and Iowa yesterday, and it's moving through the area, moving more and more to the east right now. We're actually drying up from some of those overnight showers and looking pretty quiet this morning. It's a good morning to head out the door. Mild conditions right now and future track will show you as we break down this system going into the afternoon hours. We start to pick up with some of these showers and storms specifically in southern Michigan. It delays a little bit more in our area because even though we do have storm ingredients on the table, we do have some limiting factors that future track is trying to point out might take a while to overcome. Nonetheless, I do think it's still possible to see a few stray showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon time period, but I don't think it's going to be a whole lot in our area specifically. Again, as we start to see a few of those move into Northwest Ohio, it's possible they pick up on strength a little bit more, but specifically check out closer to the Toledo area. As this continues to move more to the east, that's where isolated cells could start to form together more and more, eventually perhaps forming a line as they get closer to the Cleveland area. As we go through the rest of the day, though, a cold front moving through, that's what's producing the chance for some of these spotty showers and storms for the afternoon hours. And winds are already kicking up with that over in Illinois. We'll continue to see winds pick up a little bit more today once we get past that brief period of the afternoon where we could see a few of those spotty showers and thunderstorms. Winds start to strengthen with perhaps gusts up to about 30, maybe even 40 miles per hour. So if it's trash day and you have those empty trash cans out, Try to drag them in as soon as you can. That breeze is lighter for tonight, but still a little bit breezy at times. Temperatures are starting to crash. We go from the streak of low 70s that still continues for today back into the upper 40s tonight. We're in the 60s for tomorrow. 50s kick off Friday through the weekend. In fact, highs for the weekend are only in the lower 50s, but overnight lows down into the mid to lower 30s. That poses the risk for frost and even a light freeze in some spots. So if you've been doing a maybe a head start on planting, things like that, you'll want to take precautionary measures, cover up those plants, or if you have the chance to, bring them inside. Okay, Liz, good tips. And, um, you know, hopefully people listen to us, though. Yeah. We kept saying, um, we're like, don't plant until yeah. after Mother's yeah. Day, right? You always wait because Indiana always likes to throw in an extra couple of cold nights. That's yeah. so true. It is tempting, though, with the beautiful weather recently. Yeah, I'm I like, know. I want flowers, but yeah, not yet. Just wait. Yeah. Right, and I'm waiting to put out my patio furniture, too. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Liz, thank you.